Hello everyone, this is the Untangled UTM Firewall unboxing. This is the U50X, which is one of the newer series that's just out. Uh, it is the small, fanless, silent model. Uh, features a 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gig SSD built in, and uh, I believe it's a quad, uh, sorry, a uh, dual core uh, SOC processor. Uh, four Ethernet ports on the front, audio, which are disabled, power and hard drive activity, power in, all in an aluminum casing, it's very heavy, it weighs uh, probably about five pounds or so, with USB ports, HDMI, a serial port, and the power button in the front. Uh, the, HD, uh, the HDMI port is the only way to have a local console on this, so if you are purchasing one, be sure to pick up a basic HDMI to VGA or HDMI to DVI uh, adapter as you're just going to have to uh, assume that the local interface is available at the time you get this set up. But uh, these are cheap, they're about 10 bucks. Plug it in and now you get VGA out. It's good just to have as a safety in case uh, your monitor does not have uh, HDMI built in or the field that you're the, uh, the site you're on does not have a monitor with uh, HDMI or digital output. Uh, there's four screws on the bottom here. One, two, three, and four. And just small machine screws, as you see here, regular Phillips. And you'll gain access to the bottom panel. Okay, bottom panel here you have your solid state hard drive. Uh, this, looks like a, this looks like an M2 and, oh, sorry, uh, M SATA, and then you have your memory here. Stock is 4 gigs, though you can upgrade it to 8 if you plan on doing any more CPU intensive work or other memory intensive work like uh, IDS IPS or have a lot of traffic going through it. Although uh, this unit is rated between 15 to 50. Uh, users with probably about 25 being about the, the max of where you probably want to push it um, unless you're not really doing any filtering more so just firewall rules you could probably handle up to 50 uh, with that uh, again on the back side of this board there is a processor with an aluminum heat sink behind it which is then actually affixed to the top layer of this uh, heat sink and it's actually stickied uh, like like bubblegum uh, bubble gum thermal paste to the aluminum chassis. So you do not want to take that off, otherwise you'll uh, break the seal between the aluminum and the CPU mount. Uh, you can replace these. There's also a PCIe slot here as well. Stock is 128 gigs, though you could put in whatever you want. And again, stock is 4 gigs, uh, though it will support up to an 8 gigabyte stick. Memory type is DDR4, PC3L12800. So it's a 1.35 volt uh, spec memory stick. Uh, other than that, your memory slots on the front are as follows. Okay, port 1 out of the box. You can do a cloud connect. However, uh, that cloud connect is assuming you are getting a DHCP address. Uh, the secondary port here is going to be on your LAN, so your laptop is going to plug into that. And then once you boot up, it's going to grab a DHCP off of port 1, and it'll assign a DHCP, or you can do a static uh, DHCP on the port number 2, uh, provided that you're, uh, you, know, you have a connection and you'll want to assign an IP address of 192.168.2.100 uh, when you do start up if you're going to do, go into the management LAN uh, locally. Otherwise, you can access this through the cloud controller. You'll input uh, your model and your serial number, and this will actually call back provided your WAN connection is on DHCP. Uh, contents of the box outside of the unit itself. Cat6 green, uh, sorry, a green Cat6 cable, your standard mono price uh, type. 
We have a quick setup guide. Obviously the box. Twelve volt power adapter. Standard power plug. So you could plug into anything you need, including uh, power distribution units in a rack. You have a SATA adapter, though you'll probably never ever use this again uh, because everything is on a circuit board nowadays with M SATA. You have a mounting kit. These little pieces here are your VESA standoffs. So these are actually screw into the bottom of the plate here. One, two, three, and four. And then your VESA plate itself which you would then mount to either the wall or to the back of a monitor. Uh, but most likely this would get mounted to a plywood plywood board in your uh, IT room or your mounting closet. Um, these little silver pieces screw into the bottom panel and then those bottom panel will then slide in to the base of bracket. Uh, other than that, you could sit it on top of a desk or on a uh, rack shelf. Either one will work fine, but it's a silent unit and uh, given the type of metal and surface area, it should dissipate heat pretty quickly. So uh, I, I wouldn't expect uh, overheating to be a problem, even under heavy loads. Uh, other than that, instructions are pretty straightforward and you would set them up just like any other uh, you know, firewall appliance, connecting it into the network and then start your configuration. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty straightforward setup and uh, overall the build quality is, is solid. Um, and uh, that's, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.